Hi, I'm Kathwan Ledesma. I'm a writer, educator, wife, and new mother of two. Parenting has definitely been my most exciting journey, but it also comes with a lot of questions. So I've asked a few friends and experts to share what they've learned from their own parenting adventures. We've compiled the best stories and tips in the hopes that their experiences will enlighten yours. This is The Parent Files. Brought to you by The Parenting Emporium. They like finger painting, coloring, cutting paper. So we do baking and cooking. He can spend hours on Lego blocks and puzzles. It's his latest fascination. Cook our meals together and you would see Maya, she's two. She's peeling off the garlic. While my husband would prepare food, everyone was there. Santi would set the table. So it's really nice. It's like a family effort for a meal in itself. She likes to make up songs. We try to sing songs, more music related. It's always pretend play. Turn them into something like a frog or a princess or a ballerina. She pretends that she's cooking and she's going to ask me what my orders are. Then I tell her I want some milk or bread or french fries. We would stay in the room. We could have an indoor picnic. We could have banig. Go to your pantry, put up a, a store, a sari sari store. And then you can pretend that, hey, you can sell stuff to me. Or we can pretend that we have a restaurant and I'm going to order. Yeah. We can take out some fake money or real money if you want to teach them about money and then you can play play that with them they love it they love creating their own tents using the blankets the bed sheets everything so you have to give 100 percent because if you don't really feel like doing it they feel ah oh, no you're not you know it's boring yes. they'll, they'll you know they'll do something else so you lose their attention she likes to do a lot of things on her own also so we just kind of give her the space to explore, experiment, and she keeps herself pretty much entertained. It's not really so much the activities. As long as you, you are there to do it to them, they really enjoy it. We should introduce it at appropriate times. You want to protect their childhood. They become overexposed too early, which forces them to grow up. So we want to protect their souls. Our rules for screen time for iPad is 30 minutes a day. Maybe around one hour a day per child. We do try to limit her, mainly because she doesn't really engage too much on it when she has other things to do. When it comes to eating, we normally just ban her from using it because we want to engage in her talking and you know, telling what happened in school, what happened to you today. If he is being particularly choosy about food and he needs a distraction, sometimes we'll go ahead and show a short video and that will distract him enough to feed him. We do use it as a reward. For instance, if they do their homework right away and they finish early, we give them an hour or two to play with the iPad or the phone, watch TV, watch a movie, I learned that you can't just grab things away from them. You can't just, you know, take it out of their sight or just like that. You have to gradually prepare them that, hey, I'm going to take this gadget away from you in 10 minutes. As much as possible, when we give him the iPad, we tell him, okay, you have 30 minutes and then 15 minutes cut off, we tell him, you have 15 minutes to go and then 10 minutes to go and 5 minutes to go. I think having that verbal warning will also be easier for them to let it go. And then they have something to look forward to the next day as well. When we perceive that it's already too much, then we tell them, we basically turn off the TV yeah. or take uh -oh. out the iPad and we Correct. tell them, come on, let's play basketball or play with your toy cars yeah. or maybe read a book. The last resort would be your gadgets if they're really very bored already. Raising children can be tough. Feeding your child, discipline, special needs, training yayas can easily overwhelm us. We are here to help you. Premier expert-backed resource workshops, parent-recommended products and services, and only the best support system we can give. It's all about choosing the right information, connecting with other parents, and building a community. Because parenting is a legacy, and parenthood, when shared, becomes a whole lot easier. The Parenting Emporium.